Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pajapati and in this video I will be talking about one of the important questions of Python which was asked in the recent interview in one of the MNC. I got this question from the internet, from the LinkedIn. So I thought to write my own solution. I will also show you his solution and I also show you my solution how I solve this question, right? With the help of some Python functions and other stuff. Okay, so before that video, I would like to introduce my courses which I have created and launched on my website if you are new to uh, to my channel. And if you are preparing for the uh, for the Azure Data Engineering role, then you can visit to my website. And this, these are the package. Here you can see we, I mean, I am providing two courses like build Azure end-to-end -end project and second one is deep dive in Delta Lake use end-to-end -end project, right? And uh, everything you will be seeing over here. And also you will be seeing the content and you know table of content as well as the I mean you know you can enroll from here also right and you just have to click on this buy package button and then you will get here 10% discount right. if you have any question you can click on this contact us button and you and you can reach out to me over on the whatsapp okay Chalo. now let's go back and uh, try to solve that question so question saying that you know we have an input and we have this output so the input is saying that you know we have this bbb ccc aa and d right so the output saying this 4321 so if you have understood i believe that it is showing as a count of each element each alphabet we can say each alphabet or element of this string right ideally i should not say this as a element i should say as a alphabet right so like b B repeated here four times, C repeated here three times, A repeated here two times, and D repeated here one time. Likewise, you know, suppose if the question saying that you know here we have like this, so it it I mean one will be replaced by three, like that, like that only you know we have to write a solution and we have to give a code. So what I'll do, I'll create a function. Ideally, we have to create a function whenever we are writing any code. Okay, it's a good practice and uh, function name like you know find f underscore count f means function f underscore count each element something like that you know i can give and here uh, this is the input variable or parameter we can say right and this is a type of string so that's why i write here str and it returns what it returns list correct that's why i have written like this you can also ignore this i mean you can also ignore this and this but it's a good practice so anyone can understand key you know what it is returning it is returning as a list right and what what type of parameter it, it is taking okay now uh now what i'll do i'll initiate i will i will initiate uh you know i will initiate one one integer variable okay and let's say counter and the value start from one you can also keep it zero it's up to you and then i'll create one list l of empty because i need to return here list correct now what i'll do i'll write here for i in range function correct input of what input of uh not input a len of len of input right resting whatever you know, we, we are going to pass so this is start from zero and what i'll do i'll i will go with minus one also what you can do you can start from one and you can go with till the till the uh, till the end right and here what i'm comparing i'm comparing this element to the next one or we can say uh, this element from the previous one likewise i will go in the second iteration i will go i'll check this b from this b and then from this b to this b and then from this c to b like that you know i'm going to do this do this do this now what i'll do i'll i will i will i will compare it right so i'll write here input of i is equal to is equal to input of i minus one so if this is the case right if this is the case then what i have to do uh what i have to do if all things are matching so i have to actually increase my counter by one and in that case if it is not matching when when it is not matching when it the pointer comes here and it match is try to match with b c is not equal to b in that case ideally i have to append 
द वैल्यू इन टू द लिस्ट एंड आई हैव टू रीसेट द काउंटर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन नाइस एंड वेट रिटर्न एल राइट नाउ आई जस्ट प्रिंट इट एंड कॉल द फंक्शन सो द फंक्शन इज दिस एंड इनपुट लेट्स कॉपी दिस पुट इट ओवर हेयर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कैपिटल आई आई जस्ट मेक इट एयर स्मॉल राइट अगेन द सेम थिंग रन पाइथन You can see we have four, three, two, but it did not print one because you know we excluded we excluded the last uh, one, right? So here after the for loop, I I mean actually we need to append one more line counter. Now now if I do another uh, Python. then you will see 4 3 2 1 now if i change this like value like this right and if i do a run in python again then you will see it is giving us a correct output but what if if i change the value if i change the value you know if i write here a and let's say in between c i'll write here d and if i try to run this then we'll see what will happen it is giving us like this that is not you know not the correct output so what i can do see if you are a data engineer right and if you are working in a company right or in a very big project then you do not need to write all these such codes correct so what i can do i can use i can use over here uh, a a kind of library so i will use collection because everyone knows about this if you do not know you can you know you can understand this i'll use here counter right yes i can do no i i believe it is not needed what i can do the second approach would be let me just copy the code and let me come down a little bit and new okay i'll remove everything I do not need all this stuff. Instead, what I will do, I will try to create a input st uh, set. Okay, so what I am going to do, I am going to convert, I am going to convert this input into a set so that I can get the, I can get the only unique values like b, c, a, and d, and then I will count. i will count like you know how many times b is repeated how many times c is repeated how many times a is repeated and how many times d is repeated okay chalo we'll do that so i will use here like you know input and then for i in what what i will pass here i will pass here input not input i will pass here i will pass here input underscore set and then l dot append l dot append what input dot count of i right and then return this and i will initiate a empty uh you know empty list and let me just copy the same function run in python then you will see it returns as a 4331 now now let me just remove everything and make it simple first right and if i do again so you will see it is it, it is returning 1 4 2 why it is so because whenever we use a set function right so there is no guarantee there is no guarantee that it returns in a in a in a in a ordered way right in a ordered way so what i meant to say if i run it now then you will see it returning d b c a right if i run it again And you can you can see it is it is returning B D A C. So every time the output will be changed, or is changed, right? So in order to maintain the order in the in the set, there is another library which you have to install. Actually, the library name is the library name is from and the library name is ordered 
ordered underscore set you have to install it using pip command okay i hope that you know all these pip commands right so you have to install it and here i will gonna use ordered underscore set okay uh, if you want to know okay <clears throat> order set right hmm and you know i can write here pip3 install uh, let's see whether i have already written no i did not written the command so Sorry, let me add pip install ordered you can see requirement already satisfied so you know I have already installed this actually now seems okay and if you want to understand key you know how many functions uh, what are the functions name present in in in, in it mm -hmm. then what you can do you can just comment all this code for a time being and you can write here print of help of help of uh, that name right so ordered underscore set Oops. set and import ordered underscore set just for that you know for just for the understanding purpose i am writing it so that you will also understand key you know how you can know you do not need to go google and you know uh, uh, go to documentation other stuff you can see okay this is the ordered set you know i can use it and you know everything is written over here the example is also written over here so i can just copy this and because i forgot it right whether s is capital or s is small now i understood key right so let me just go above here do this again remove everything unwanted code and now now i'll use this come over here right and uh, instead of this set i'll use this nothing else nothing changed right now now you can see four three two one right because i use a ordered set and now if i change no I, I mean it it doesn't work out yeah so you can assume that you know if i make it here d d d d d d d d, d and a so like this if i turn it again you will see it is returning for three three ten that's true right so now you can also make it smaller if you want how yeah i can we can do it i just want to show you mm. copy paste that we all do control c control i right remove everything chalo let's remove this also copy why all these things are not needed right why this l is needed return right it returns the correct output so this is the way you know how you actually uh, you have to write a code in whenever you are doing in you know in uh, in your project so do you you just gonna you are not gonna go and you know write this long question or long thing when you are making a project but just for the understanding purpose how the logic builds you have to write this but if you are working in a project then just use a simple uh, library package or you know whatever it is right so chalo, thank you and we'll meet you in the next question and the idea why i chosen this question because i want to show you the difference between set and ordered set
and nothing else i hope that you got and i mean you understood and you get to know something new thing today chalo thank you bye bye